So we're, we're anticipating opening uh, in August. August, possible soft opening. We're, we're, we're gonna try. The reality is, is that we're, we're exactly not sure when we're gonna open still because we have one big component left and that's sidewalks to the buildings. They still have some paving to do. That's gonna take about a week to finish up. But we need sidewalks, accessible sidewalks to the Try and Welcome Center, down to the boat rental, to the lake, and then sidewalks to all the cabins. And, and those are out for bid right now. You know, we have a multi-purpose trail for mountain biking on if you wish you so choose, or just a regular day hike. There's an old softball diamond that we're gonna mow as a big rec lawn area. As a public use facility, there was several buildings that we were afraid that under the right circumstances, if someone wanted to turn the switch, it could be literally a, a good jolt. You had, you had sewer, water, and electric all running in the same trench, you know, the same hole. Uh, the, the water supply system wasn't safe, wasn't reliable, and, and what we've put in is a completely new. Uh, it's taken some time, but you know, if we happen to lose power over here while there's somebody here for the weekend, the generator is going to kick on and they're going to be able to continue using the facility. Everything is ADA to the today's standards. How you'll get here is you'll, you'll come outside the park, you'll hang a left on 50 West, you'll go up 50 West, turn right on Feather Valley Road, go down Feather Valley Road, and it's on your right hand side. Uh, you'll see a brand new entrance road, there'll be a gatehouse that has still not been built yet, but will be going in this fall. You'll come into the property uh, for the interim time and you'll check into the Try and Welcome Center and that's where you'll pay your, your gate entrance fee. You can rent a boat there or you can rent a kayak or you can check into the, uh, the cabins or, or one of the day use facilities. You're allowed to keep 10 fish, that's 10 fish a person. So if you have three people in the boat, that's 30 for the morning, which is a nice, nice mess of fish. Uh, but it's, it's been set up so that everybody has the opportunity to use the resource. Whether the bird watcher, the fisherman, the hiker, the bike rider, the mountain bike user, the cross-country skier this winter, or the ice fisherman, this place is yours.